Hey guys, it's Gavin Syme, and today I want to show you Projectix and talk a bit about the power of projecting proofs for your clients and selling portraiture and really any kind of, of work you do in your photography to increase sales and really increase the quality of your presentation. It's no secret among people that know how to sell well that projecting is king when it comes to putting prints on walls. And, you know, this is something that I learned years ago when I first went to the Wall Portrait Conference, which is an amazing place to learn to, to sell quality wall art. I mean, we're going to go over some basic principles today. You can even look at my article on Pro Photo Show where I talk about selling larger wall pieces. Uh, but there's, there's, a, there's a lot to learn. You know, selling wall art starts from the beginning. It starts with building rapport with your clients and meeting with them and, and all the stuff related to that process, believing in your product. But one of the things that's absolutely key is projecting. And that's what we're going to look at today. You know, when I first went to wall portrait years ago, I immediately knew, okay, I got to start getting serious about projecting. There's a few tools out there made for projecting and there's some good stuff. There's a lot of features in some of the tools that are out there, but I wanted something simpler. All I wanted to do was to be able to project images in Lightroom and scale those images to size. Cause that's, that's one of the essential things about selling wall portraits is you do your session, you know, you show people on your walls, your wall pieces, they appreciate your art and what you do. And you carry that through with after their session or their project, you bring them in, you sit them down and you show them those images. And then you're able to scale those on the wall. So you can, they can visualize, they can see, okay, yeah, you know, maybe the 30 inch is right for my living room. Okay. So as a huge Lightroom guy, I wanted to be able to do this in a way that was quick and easy and practical because I'm already working in this Lightroom environment. So what I'm gonna show you is what I came up with, which has been refined over the years. Projectix is, is no frills, it's simple, it does one thing, and that's project images to size on the wall, and it does it well. Now, I'm gonna show you how to use Projectix, it's pretty easy. First of all, real quick, let me show you how to install Projectix. Sometimes people get confused about this. Now, right here on the desktop is the download that you're going to get with Projectix. If you look inside of this, let me just kind of expand this window. Here's the different sizes of Projectix. Now, what are we seeing here? What are we looking at? We have Projectix 50, 65, 70, 40, etc. All right, first of all, what we're looking at is the number of the Projectix represents the maximum horizontal image size that you can scale on the wall. Because remember, we're projecting images to scale on the wall, so we can change the size. This is the key. Now, I use in my studio Projectix 65. What does that mean? Well, if we look here, the Projectix 65 set is a 65 wide by 48 inch maximum image projection area. And to achieve that, we have a 70 inch wide 4-3 screen. 4-3 is the screen ratio. So the old TVs we had that were a little more squarish and less wide, those are 4-3. Uh, a lot of times on, on newer TVs and stuff, we see 16.9. Now we're talking about projectors here, although some of you will be using TVs. I prefer a projector because I feel like it gives a larger scalability, more portability. It's, it's a really versatile way to go. Now, if you're buying a projector for, for presenting this, a 4.3 in a lot of ways is a better projector. It's not necessarily better for home theater, but for projecting proofs, a lot of times it's better because sometimes we're dealing with verticals. Well, if you look at the 16.9 screen sizes, like the 55 by 30 inch 69 ratio is, is only 30 inches max height because those screens aren't as tall. A 4.3 screen is more square, so it's a bit more versatile for projecting. But whatever you're using, you can choose the set you need. Now, Projectix comes with some built-in sizes, and you can also customize the size of the set you're using to fit your screen if, if your screen doesn't match one of the sizes in here. Oftentimes, you may just be setting up a, a projector and you can say, hey, I'm going to go with the 50 or the 70 or the 65 and just set your projection size to match accordingly. Uh, we can also customize a set for you if you don't want to mess with it yourself. Bottom line is, let's take a look at Projectix 60, 65. How would we install this? Here's the presets. Let's go back to Lightroom and I'm just going to go to Preferences in Lightroom and we're gonna to go to presets. It's very similar to installing develop presets. We're just gonna go down here to the show Lightroom presets folder. What that's gonna do is it's gonna pop up all the different presets that are relative to Lightroom. And what we're looking for to import these into is the print templates. Cause what we've done is used the print module within Lightroom. And I spent a lot of time figuring out the math and how to hide everything we need to and make this work. We use the print module. Now you can see I already have them in here, so I won't import them twice. But what would happen is I go to my folder from the desktop, I would just take this entire set, copy it, and then go into my presets folder and paste it right in, okay? 
and bringing those presets that I want. I could bring all the different sets in like I have here, or I could just bring in the size I wanted for the screen I was going to be using to keep it simple. So I put that in to my templates. Then what I would do is just to make sure Lightroom sees them, just like we always have to do with presets, I would quit, quit Lightroom and restart Lightroom, bring it back up. Okay, now we're in Lightroom. What are we going to do? First of all, let's get to full screen. I'm going to use the F key and go to full screen. Now, the shortcuts are something you're gonna to wanna to remember. There's actually a list of shortcuts on the Projectix product page of the essential shortcuts for making this really efficient. Because when you're working with a client, you want things to be quick and smooth and easy. Okay, now I have some various images here, and let's just pretend this is a proofing session. We got some different stuff. We got weddings and portraits and stuff like that. But let's say I'm all set up, and the client's coming in in 10 minutes. I've set up a projector. I've taken my Lightroom catalog and maybe I've put it on my laptop and I'm set up, hooked to the projector, ready to go. What do I do to present to this client? Well, all I'm going to do is I have all my images ready to go. Ideally, you want to have your previews rendered as well in Lightroom. So I would go up here and go to library and render those previews so it's ready to go and then everything loads nice and smoothly. All right. Now what we're going to do is go up here and go into the print module. Now the shortcut for that is shift excuse me, option or alt plus command plus six will take us straight to the print module. That's an important one to remember because while you're doing the proof session, you can bounce back and forth from grid mode to the, to the presentation mode really quickly and easy. You can have somebody say, hey, I want to order that print. You can pop back and make a collection and just drop that print in there, label the collection for the size that they want, etc. So you can use Lightroom's already existing tools to kind of organize and carry you through that sale. All projects does is give you a simple, powerful way to project the images to size. Now, let's select an image. Okay, so here's this image in Lightroom. But what do we do? We don't want them to see all this. The goal of this is presentation. This is a sales session. How are we going to handle this? Well, here's the thing. We can hide all of these things, all right? Um, also, the shortcut for the print module might be different on some earlier versions of Lightroom. So if you're using earlier than Lightroom 4, check your shortcuts and just see what the shortcut is for the print module. If you go up to the window view, you can select the module and it usually shows you the shortcut right next to it. If not, you can certainly look it up. We're in the print module now, but we're not quite ready for the client. What do we want to do? Well, first of all, we want to hide all the panels. You can of course click on the sides to hide panels, but there's a shortcut for this too. And this is why you'll want to remember this shortcut list when you use Projectix. Shift tab will hide all the main panels. All right, now there's a couple other things. We see we have the toolbar on the bottom. The T key hides the toolbar, and we see we have this little option bar on top here. The backslash bar will hide that. Now, all we have is the little line around the center. We can actually even get rid of that too by dimming it down with the L key, which dims the lights. Now we have this image on the screen. Let's go over here. Look at that. We mouse over. It brings up our template browser. What do we have? Here's our Projectix. Here's Projectix 65. So we're projecting on the wall right now at 70 inches. Okay, let's take a quick look at what's happening with the projection. Here's kind of a little diagram. Let's say this is our wall. And then here in the white area is the total projection. This is the, the, the total projection coming from our, our projector. And then if we're using Projectix 65 in this case, you can choose whatever set you want. But Projectix 65 is uh, the total image area is in this red line. This is the area that the image is going to be projected in within the projection on the wall. Okay, now let's just hide that. We're going to pop back into Lightroom and take a look. Let's pop over here. Select Projectix 65. Now I'll even use an iPhone or iPad app like Touchpad or something like that to give me mouse control over my laptop. So I might be sitting on the couch interacting with the client and just moving the mouse around. And I might start the session at max size. So I'll max it out and say, hey, let's, let's project at 65 inches. Now we need to bear in mind in, on this screen that I'm recording this on, I'm, my monitor is not a 4.3 screen. So we're seeing a little bit of black space around the edges because I'm using a 4.3 set as an example because oftentimes that's what we will be using with the projector. But this is to illustrate, you know, while you're not seeing this on a wall right now, if you were on a wall and you set this up, you're projecting to size, basically you're setting up your projection size and the set that you're using within the Projectix toolkit, and then everything comes out to scale. So what happens? We can go through this session now, and I can be sitting here talking to the client, and I'll usually proof the images on the larger size. So they're seeing these on the wall right now. You know, you're sitting on my sofa in my studio or, or in your home, if, and we're going through, and I'm projecting these full size on the wall, okay? Now, 
when it's all said and done. You know, maybe we've gone through all the main images and they're excited and it's like, okay, great. Now we want to come back and we want to start talking about what they want with prints. Now you see how it's taken it just a second to load on a few of these images? That is because all the previews weren't fully rendered. So that's why you want to render those previews before the client comes in the door. Because if you're going through a wedding or something, there's a lot of images, especially if you're on a slower machine, it can be annoying waiting for those to load. Okay, so let's say mom says, hey, we love this, this print. You know, we, we've gone through the images. We choose an image. And she says, this, this is the one. And, you know, maybe it's more than one. But you say, all right, now let's talk about sizes. You like this one. And, of course, there's lots that goes on in the sales process in terms of kind of leading them and talking to them and seeing which one which one's going to work best for their home. That doesn't mean that we won't use others elsewhere in an album. Maybe we'll do two or three wall portraits. But the goal a lot of times in my studio is to figure out, okay, what do we want on the wall? And let's focus on that first and then talk about the other things. Because that piece on the wall is what I want to get there. That's that's my profit center. That's my free advertising because people get to see it. There's nothing like putting a quality wall portrait. I use I do mostly heirloom canvas on the wall, which is traditionally made canvas. Um, again, something to read in some of my other articles. But bottom line is they choose this image. All right, now I don't even have to leave this environment. I say, all right, let's talk about some sizes. Where do you want to put it? Well, maybe mom says, well, we're, we're looking, we have a spot in the living room we want to put it. Now, ideally, if I've really planned ahead and I've been you know, discussing and kind of building the relevance of this product all the way along. Mom already knows she wants a wall portrait. I mean, she comes into my studio and that's what she sees on the wall. We've talked about it. I've already built the value. So it's not really a battle anymore. It's more about, okay, what do we need there? And ideally, I've talked to her about her wall size. Maybe I've even gone out and seen her home and I've handed her a tape measure and I've given her the number in so she can see how large that wall really is. Maybe the wall is, is 40 inches. You know, it's, it's as, you, as you step into the living room, there's a wall over here off to the right and it's 40 inches. And maybe we've talked about this. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go here and I'm still using Projectix. I can select whatever size I want. And of course, you can make custom sizes as you want to, but Projectix includes the common sizes and it's just based on the long edge, okay? So she says, well, you know, maybe we just want something simple like an 11 by 14. Now, she's probably not saying this because by this point, she knows how, how, how amazing it is to have a, a wall piece on the wall. It's a piece of furniture at that point. But I can illustrate. I can say, okay, there's your 14 inch. You know, maybe they want that proverbial horrible eight by 10, which, which doesn't belong on a wall. It's too small. Boom, here's your 10 inch. You know, just, just to illustrate, let's take a look at that four by six. Now, when you're sitting there and you're in a room and you know, you're sitting back 10 feet away, the impact of this is amazing because they're seeing these images scaled large on the wall and then you show them how small an image actually be becomes when it's, when it's made small. So now we're getting back into reality. I say, well, you know, the, the 24 is a popular size for our seniors, but we could also go to the 30. You know, there's, there's techniques that should be looked at in terms of selling and generally I'll start large and kind of work my way down. And then I might pop back up and say, all right. And, you know, maybe they'll say, hey, we like the 30. And I'm like, great, we could do a 36 or we could do a 30. And I'm just kind of, I'm not trying to push them into something so much as to show them the differences. Oftentimes by this time, I believe in my product. I know how to sell my product. They've seen the value of that product. By this time, they actually often start going up. You know, I'll say, okay, I'll be thinking, I'm happy to sell a 30 inch of this portrait to them. And they'll be thinking, well, maybe the 36 or the 40. Uh, not too long ago, I had a 40 inch senior portrait. Now, of course, we can go through other images and it'll stay at this size because that's the template we're in right now, looking at the 40 inch. This is the beauty of Projectix. Now, let's say we're projecting. This, is, this one here is the one I actually sold at 40 inches. It looked beautiful in their home. They had a nice big wall that it went on and it's, it's a gorgeous piece. It's all framed. It's on canvas. So let's say, hey, they want this. All right. Now, I'm in Lightroom. I'm already in a familiar environment here, guys. I can just pop back to the develop module, excuse me, the grid module, all right? And let me just undim the lights with the L key. And I'm just gonna quickly create a collection and I'll say 40 inch canvas and I'll include the selected photo. Boom, I'll make a collection. So it's kind of building their order. I can remember it later. And I can immediately shift command six, pop right back to the develop module and be right back where I started. It's incredibly powerful. This whole process of projecting is not only critical to selling wall portraits in a, in a consistent fashion. I mean, it's it's one of the foundational elements if, if you've learned to sell wall portraits. And it's something that once I really started doing it, once I applied it, and once I put it together a system like this, everything changed. But it gets better 
Projectix is a simple, no frills add on for Lightroom that allows us to go into the print module and use that to project images to size. But the beauty is, we're already in Lightroom. So we actually have a ton of features using a sales tool like this because not only do we have the features, we're in an environment where we're already familiar with how to use those features, collections and organization and all the kind of stuff we need. So, you know, let's say we're in a proof session. Maybe I maybe I have this here. And maybe we've gone through the images and I've I've shown them at the large size and now we're kind of narrowing down and and maybe mom and dad and and uh, and our subject know that, hey, these are the ones we like. Now let's talk about which ones we want to put on the wall. So maybe they want to have one main portrait, whatever it might be. I don't have to just flip back and forth. I can use the tools that are already in Lightroom. So let me just go down to the thumb strip here. It'll pop right up, just like they do when, when you hide any of the panels, okay? So I bring up my thumb strip, and I'm going to select this other image right over here. Now I can just use the compare tool. The, the functionality in Lightroom, it all still works. So we can just use our shortcuts, bounce back and forth, keep our presentation super elegant, and not ever leave that environment. I can also use the survey tool. In fact, I like this one a little better a lot of times. Uh, the end key is the shortcut for that because with the survey tool, I can even do more than two images. So I might go down to the film strip and uh, just come in and select another one and add another one to the selections. So, you know, we may have two, three, four, five favorites and we're deciding which ones we want to put on the wall. I can put these things up there. I can quickly select and deselect and all this stuff that's already in Lightroom and it's showing on their wall in this nice, clean, elegant presentation. Maybe they decide on this one, which is actually the one they did decide on. We put a 24-inch canvas of this in their home. Now, I can pop back into Projectix. I'm just going to use that shortcut. You want to remember these. I'm going to use Option-Command and 6. Boom. I just popped right back into the print module. Projectix is still there. The template is still active. We're still projecting at the same size we were. So now we can come in, you know, maybe talk about the different sizes. Maybe we'll finalize the choices, go in here. And, you know, maybe we'll decide on that 24-inch portrait. Now we can just pop back into the grid mode. We can add that into a collection or we can export it into a folder that has the final choices. Whatever we need to do. Lightroom is a powerful tool. By using Projectix, we're adding a powerful tool to Lightroom in that we can scale images to size. And it's, it's very powerful. But even more than that, we're staying within that Lightroom environment. We don't have to use a different piece of software. We can stay in there, use all the functionality, all the tools that we're familiar with, with the added functionality of being able to do a phenomenal sales presentation. Now, Projectix is meant to be a simple, elegant solution. There's other systems out there. There's different approaches. Projectix uses a Lightroom environment that most of us are already familiar with. You don't have to leave that environment. What I do is I'm, I'm using a catalog method where I have a different catalog for every, every customer as well. That makes it even easier because I can just copy their whole project for, let's say, Andrew's senior portraits. I'll just copy his catalog to a portable hard drive. I can even take it to their home and, and set up my projector, do this exact same thing and being showing the images on their wall. Now, what we see over here where, where the, the numbers go to max vertical, this comes back to that screen ratio. You know, the, it, you, you can only project an image as tall as your screen is. Because remember, these projections, we're using a screen size that matches the Projectix set that we're using in Lightroom. So when I say, show me a 30 inch, it's actually 30 inches, you know, give or take maybe a quarter inch on the wall. We're showing an actual size 30 inch image, okay? So at some point when you're doing a vertical, you know, if I go to 45 inch, 48 inch, 48 inch on this particular set is the max vertical. If I try and go higher than that, it doesn't change the size because we can't go up anymore. Now, on the other hand, if it's a horizontal, different story, we can, of course, go to the full width that way. In this case, all the way up to 65. So Projectix is just a simple tool where you can stay in your own environment. If you need to adjust an image, you're right there. If you need to make a collection, you're right there. No extra software needed other than just installing the Projectix system, the Projectix presets that allow you to use the print module to scale images to size and make your proofing and sales work for you. It's a simple, effective system and it sells wall portraits. If you have any questions, let me know.